Welcome to EngineeringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric. And one of the key things if you're storing grain is to be able to do a couple of things. One is control potential infestations of uh, vermin that may have hitched a ride or been laid into those seeds. And I'll cover how to fumigate with CO2, uh, some of those techniques in another video. One of the other factors that you want to do is you want to ensure that your grain is dry. And hopefully you're getting this from the farm, the feed store, uh, the seed supplier, already fairly dry. Now, depending on where you're getting it from, that moisture level may vary. And you want to also maintain it at a low rate. So what are some of the ways to do that? Well, my preferred way is to use silica uh, crystals. And these are the things you may have noticed when you buy some electronics, some tools, you get these little packets, right? That's exactly what that is. That's a silica gel. And this is, in fact, a whole bunch of the silica gel packets. And here's some more that uh, I haven't yet fitted in. The when I get those things, I'll salvage. And the great thing about silica gel is that not only does it dry effectively, usually there's a color indicator. In this case, this stuff needs to be recharged. Uh, some of the stuff that I had in... Uh, the grain, it starts turning a pink, right? What you do, you can recharge this at home in your oven. You just take the bag out, in this case it's another one, this one is in the box. Um, you take this, you put it on a cooking sheet, clean cooking sheet, and you bake it at 240 Fahrenheit for three, four, five hours until your color goes back to the clear indicator. So you can buy stuff like this already in the bag. You can salvage some or get some in bulk. Or there's also, uh, these are some finer crystals. These are much coarser ones uh, that was intended for flower drying that I managed to get on sale at a really good price. One of the things I like about this one, really, really fine crystals. So when it absorbs the moisture, it can pull a lot of moisture out very quickly and dry it down. Uh, these ones, I tend to use those when I've already got a very dry grain and I just toss them in the container to maintain that low moisture level. So for more on this and other cool things to empower your independence, go to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. Thanks.